Older editors, what do you hate about kids these days? 30 years old here. I feel kind of bad for them. I think I was from the last generation that grew up with the freedom to do stupid things without serious repercussion. When I was young my parents didn't know where I was at all times. They might have had a general idea, but I didn't have a cell phone and I wasn't accessible 24 over 7. I would simply say I was going to hang out with friend X and I would give them a call on a house phone or pay phone if I needed to talk to them. My mom was fine with it too. She had one general rule, don't be stupid, which means if I was going to do something that nobody was to get hurt and don't get caught by the police. Not to say I was a little shit kid, but I wasn't afraid to try new things and experiment. Nowadays I think this is what they call free range parenting. And I don't know if I would even be able to do that with my children, if I had any. Everybody seems so uptight about constant safety and security that there is no room for kids to make mistakes on their own. <laughs> Through no fault of their own, kids these days are weak as fuck. They're allergic to every fucking thing, especially peanuts. They fall the fuck apart if they think you're criticizing them. Damn near zero recess, damn near zero self-advocacy skills. I'm a teacher and I love kids, but goddamn. <laughs> Chiming in here. I'm only 23, so not that old, but I have siblings a decade younger than me, and it's totally different to how I remember it. My childhood took place in this awkward transition from almost total freedom and hover parenting. My parents were right in the middle of conservative and liberal in terms of their devices, but I was able to do whatever I felt like really. Get bored, go outside and get home before the street lights were on with no police involved, and there's no foul. Now my two brothers gearing up for the start of high school soon, and they have no freedom at all with no merit of losing it. They never just play cause they want to go outside. We live in a great community and there is no reason they can't just leave and come back sometime later with no permission in my opinion. In other words, my younger siblings lost almost all opportunities to explore shit because they lost that privilege before they even knew they had it. It's sad really. They are stuck in a prison with an HDTV and video games. Why the hell do we think kids are lacking motivation when all they are allowed to do is exist in most cases? I know I'm not nearly as old as other commenters here, but I think I'm old enough to see it and young enough have felt the walls of a protected childhood shrinking. But also I hate music that kids listen to. I think most of it is trash. Instant gratification. I've seen them pissed if someone doesn't immediately answer a text. They need to experience sitting around the phone all day waiting for someone to call back, only to find out your mom has been on the dial up the whole time playing Slingo. The notion that millennials are this technology savvy are born knowing how to write a database generation. The vast majority of people born 2000 on would have no idea how their machines work. They are buried behind so many layers of metaphor that they don't even know what a file manager is because everything is kiddie packaged for them into libraries. I don't necessarily mind this in and of itself. After all, I drive a car and I know next to nothing about it, but the stereotype that kids these days are all tech prodigies annoys the crap out of me. The generation that probably had the most overall exposure to the way that computers actually work would be people who were 12 to 20 anywhere in the 1985 to 1998 range. Not to say that those individuals knew and understood what was happening as if they had a CS degree. They were still working on several layers of metaphors. But in terms of widespread exposure to base operations within the software, I don't think any other generation competes for the most tech savvy. The idea that they have invented all the new technology that they actually found, ready made for them, created by the generation, that they decry as useless and the source of all their jobless troubles. I guess it's not something I hate so much as something I don't understand, but kids today, and I mean kids, not teenagers, have no concept of spending time alone. Like, when I was a kid, I would spend hours reading in my room. Or playing with my brother, making up games with stuffed animals, playing baseball in the yard, trying and failing to make stuff out of random plants, whatever. Today it's like everyone I know with kids has to constantly be with them, physically, 24 over 7. Like, oh I have to wake up every weekend morning at 6, because that's when my kids wake up. Lol. My brother and I got up early, went downstairs, put a tape in the VCR, 
and entertained ourselves until my parents got up to hog the TV. Sure, we occasionally did some stupid shit like shove marshmallows in the toaster, or give the cat milk, which made her fart a lot, but mostly we just played together and bucked happily. Or I would read, or color by myself, while he read or colored by himself. Don't get me wrong. I think it's great when people put time and effort into doing stuff with their kids and spending time together and not just plunking them down in front of the TV slash tablet slash whatever all the time. It's just strange to me that every single thing they do has to revolve completely around the kids and that children have no concept of entertaining themselves. How detached they are from each other. I was out to dinner at a pretty nice restaurant a few months ago and all of the kids were watching movies on their own tablets. No interactions with each other. They didn't care about the wonderful food they had in front of them. They were sitting there missing out on a great experience because they were too busy watching shows they could literally watch anywhere at any time. Their belief that luxuries are necessities. Watch home shows like House Hunters, 20 somethings with their lips, curled saying shit like, Uck, this is so outdated, I couldn't live with dark granite. As if you need everything new and modern to even survive. Bitch, my grandmother had one pot and a wood stove, and she fed my mom and thrived. My mom has the same linoleum and full mica she did when they moved into the house, and it looks pristine because she took care of it. My brother and I ate like kings. My home still has the same kitchen it did when it was built in 1971. We'd love to update it, we hope to update it, but we don't need to update it. We have other priorities and we understand the difference between luxury and necessity. People that are too useless to even google the answer to their own questions now. It's never been easier to learn and find information, and yet people are increasingly posting on Facebook Weasians that can be answered via search with ease. A lot seems to be younger people coming into study slash work. <laughs> Referring to millennials. Hate is a strong word, but rather what I see as their biggest downfall is the lack of initiative. I regularly see this attitude that I'll do exactly what is asked of me. Nothing more, nothing less. The problem with this is that it forces people to micromanage them. They were raised by helicopter parents that held their hand through everything and ensured that they would never fail or face hardship. So now they are in the workforce and expecting someone to hold their hand through everything. This makes their managers micromanage the shit out of everything they do. They are constantly being watched so their manager knows when they are ready for the next assignment or making sure they are busy and this in turn makes people feel oppressed disrespected and controlled by the man for lack of a better term and this mince it carries over into politics and social life they have the mentality that they dislike or distrust the established powers yet at the same time they rely on them for everything they feel like they are entitled to never be poor hungry or uncomfortable and it's the responsibility of the establishment to ensure that never happens Another byproduct is that they don't ask questions. I have employees that I have discovered searching Google for information, how to do certain things in proprietary programs we use at work. The very people that wrote this program are just down the hall, and people that have been working with it for years are in the offices 10 feet away, and they are searching Google and fucking things up because of it. The baby boomers are retiring at a rate of 7k a day, and they are taking a lot of tribal knowledge with them, because the millennials either don't trust them, are averse to human interaction, or they are just so accustomed to having all information at their fingertips, that they aren't used to asking for help. The older generations often take this as they just don't care, since they never ask questions. They think they know it all. It is very unfortunate, because this generation is some of the most intelligent, creative, and generally likable people. They have so much potential, that is just wasted in a lot of cases. They have the knowledge and ability, to really make a difference in this world for the better. But they just don't have the initiative, to put their abilities to work, or their environment. Helicopter parents and dependence on the internet, has conditioned them to remain so introverted. Always on their phones. I have a smartphone, I get it, but I'm not on the damn thing when interacting with other humans, or when I have real stuff to do, or work, there's this 20 something, that is always on his phone, he tries to be sly about it, like he's not watching another damn video, but nope, his daddy is an untouchable so this kid's boss can't even do much about it without repercussions. 
I feel like no one can think critically anymore or synthesize information. It seems like with instant information, the ability to transform it is going by the wayside. Also I saw a 2 year old jabbing her pudgy little fingers at a smartphone, and wondered if kids even play outside anymore. They're a whole lot, like we were in my youth. Same cockiness, same insecurities, same sense of entitlement, and same romantic idea of what's fair. But if I advertise to 1000 teens that I will pay $50 for one of them to mow my lawn there will be dead silence and no takers. Then I up it to $100. Still nobody. I tried it on my neighborhood network site. We would have jumped all over that when I was young. I can't wrap my head around why this might be. Can someone explain? It doesn't enrage me or anything, but the will you peel my orange for me attitude this generation has is pretty annoying. Like asking instead of googling, then getting mad if someone asks why they didn't google. Why ask a bunch of unreliable random strangers who lbj was when you can just look it up and get a more accurate answer faster. It is not child abuse to ask you to do your own laundry, young man. It's time you start taking some responsibility around here. I seriously don't get it. It's not even just an age thing, because I didn't act that way when I was young, and I don't know many other people my age who did either. Just do the fucking thing yourself, it's easier on everyone. I was working at a summer science program for teens this past June, which I attended myself many years back and loved. In large part I loved it, because I met so many like-minded people there who I was very good friends with 4 years afterwards when there. Anyway, hate is a strong word, but I was really disappointed to see how many people were apt up in texting and talking to their friends back home non-stop instead of to each other, and then just sitting around reading reddit when there were no friends back home to talk to. It just seemed like a shame to me to have this wonderful opportunity to meet new people and then just not take full advantage of it. Nothing. I think the kids are doing fine. Any kid that's bad is a direct result of their parenting or schooling. It's the adults that are fucking up, not the children. These kids are being raised in a society where they can communicate with their peers instantly. That's amazing and is going to bring about a great wave of acceptance in the future. The knee-jerk assumption that every headline, no matter the source is reputable and automatically believes every soundbite they hear. Very few people actually question the information that is so readily available anymore. They read the headline and post the first opinion that comes to mind without doing any research or even asking what the source is. I'm extremely jealous of all of the technology that our kids take for granted as always having been there. At the same time, our society has become so compartmentalized and specialized that they are going to struggle to find their niche. For example, I was an English major who made my way into ours and then recruiting. Didn't get my PHR certification until 5 years after starting working in the hour field. Now you need to have an hour management degree in the PHR before you can get an entry level hour position. So instead of someone learning general education requirements and then being able to move into a specialization later in their career, the kids are supposed to pick that specialization extremely early. I can't imagine how hard that is.